Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to work on PowerPoint. So those who don't know anything about PowerPoint, they can also easily work on PowerPoint after watching my video. So let's start with the PowerPoint. To open PowerPoint, you need to type the name of the program in search. So I am going to type here PowerPoint. So as soon as you type PowerPoint, I can see PowerPoint 2013 here in my computer. So same way you can also find the PowerPoint application in your computer. Don't worry about the version as the options are same in every version. So just you need to click on PowerPoint 2013. So after clicking on PowerPoint 2013, you will get different layouts of PowerPoint. So here I'm going to use the blank presentation. So just you need to click on blank presentation. So as soon as you click on blank presentation, you will see the PowerPoint window here looks like this. Now what are the different components of PowerPoint window? So here I'm going to show you the components available on this PowerPoint window. The first one where you can see the name of the program written here presentation one Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is called title bar. The title bar indicates the name of the program. So when you see the title bar, it shows you the name of the program on the title bar. Just left side of the title bar, you have the quick access toolbar. In this quick access toolbar, you have the default options like save, undo and redo. These three default icons are available in quick access toolbar. Below the quick access toolbar, you have different tabs. These are called tabs, home, insert, design, transitions, animations, slideshow, review and view. These are called tabs and at the right side of the corner, you have the window controllers. So what are these window controllers buttons? So when you click on minimize, when you click on minimize, the window, the PowerPoint window comes down to the taskbar. Minimize. This is called restore or maximize. So when you click on restore, you can see your window becomes restored. And then if you click on maximize, the window becomes maximized. So the last one is to close your PowerPoint window. So these are the different control options available here at the right side corner of the PowerPoint window. Now, when you click on home tab, when you click on home tab, here you can see different tools and different groups. What are the groups? Clipboard, slides, font, paragraph, drawing, editing. These are called groups and every tab every tab has different groups whatever tab you click you will find different groups so every tab have different groups and each group have different tools for example if you take this clipboard group in clipboard group you have different tools like paste cut copy format painter same way in slides group you have different tools in font group you have different tools paragraph different tools drawing and editing you have different tools in every group now this is called slide when you open PowerPoint default you get only one slide so what is a slide a slide is a single screen of a presentation slide is a single screen of a presentation and what do you mean by presentation presentation means the series of slides in a logical order so if you want now at present we have only one slide available in our, in our presentation now if you want to add more slides now what is the procedure to add more slides if you want to create a presentation to add more slides in home tab you have the tool called new slide you need to click on new slide so when you click on new slide you will get different options so you need to choose the blank slide option so as soon as you click on blank slide you will find another slide just below the first slide so like this you can add how many slides you want for your presentation so now i'm going to start working with the first slide so let's start with the first slide so click on the first slide as soon as you click on the first slide you can see here we are in first slide now how will you take out this titles from this slide this is called slide area where we are going to work with the slide so here to take out these titles you just need to click and drag with the mouse button and press delete key on your keyboard so as soon as you select and delete it the titles will be deleted from the slide so this is my first slide 
Now here in my first slide, I want to change the background color of this slide as I want to make it more attractive. So for that, you have two options to insert the background color. So what are those three, two options? The first option, you can choose the design tab. You can click on the design tab and from design tab, you have different themes. You can see here, you have different themes. So you can click on this and you can choose any background color from this design tab. So whatever color background color you want, you can choose the background color of your choice. If you don't like these backgrounds, if you don't like to work with these backgrounds, you can even insert your own background with different colors. Now, how will you insert the different backgrounds? So to insert the background, you need to right click on the slide, click the right mouse button on the slide and go to format background. So when you click on format background, you can see here, you will find format background options. Different options are available in this format background. So what are those options? The first is solid fill. Default it is selected solid fill. So if you want to apply any solid color for your slide as a background, you can choose solid fill. And after selecting solid fill, you need to choose the color. So how will you select the color? From color option. Click on this color option and choose any color of your choice. So this is the way you can apply any solid fill color to your slide. If you want any gradient fill as background, so you need to choose gradient fill. In gradient fill, when you see here, as soon as you select the gradient fill, you will get the options here, preset gradients. So from preset gradients, you can choose any color from this preset gradient option. So after selecting, now if you don't like these colors, what colors it has. To change these colors, you can observe here down, you have different gradient stops. Here, we have different gradient stops. We have three gradient stops. So you can change the color for these gradient stops. Now, how will you change the color for these gradient stops? To change the color, first you need to choose the color. First, you need to click on the first gradient for what, whichever gradient you want to change the color. So just click on the gradient stop and choose the color from this color option. Now here I am going to choose the color for example green. Now click on the next gradient stop and choose another color from the color option. Now I have selected the blue color for the second stop. Now same way click on the third stop and choose the color for the third stop. So say suppose I am going to choose some other color for the third stop or else if you want to change the color you can even change the color for the third stop. So like this, you can apply different colors for your gradient stops. And if you want to add more stops, say so suppose you have only three stops here. Now, if you want to add more stops, you can even add more stops. So how will you add more stops here at the right side corner? You can see here, there are two options are there. The first option with the plus symbol shows add gradient stop. And the second option with the cross symbol shows remove gradient stop. So the first one, if you want to add more gradient stop, you need to click on this plus and you can change the color for this if you want. So just click on the stop and again, go to color option and choose the color of your choice. You can even go to more colors and choose the color from this more color option and just say OK. So like this, you can apply different colors for your gradient stops. And if you want to remove the gradient stop, again, you need to click on the gradient stop and just click on remove. So the gradient stop will be removed. Like this, you can apply the color for your slide. Now, if you want to apply the same background color for all the slides, like how many slides you have inserted, you can choose the option called apply to all. So when you click on apply to all, the same background color will be applied to all the slides. And if you don't want for all the slides the same background, you can just click on cross symbol, close symbol and then the background color will be applied to only one slide. So like this, you can change the background color of the slide. So now, how will you insert the text? To insert text, again, there are two different options to insert text. So click on insert tab, 
In Insert tab, you have options called Word Art and Text Box. So Word Art, when we use Word Art, Word Art will be used only to apply any decorative text. If you want to apply, if you want to add some text in decorative way, you can use this Word Art option. So here I am going to use Word Art. I will just click on Word Art in Insert tab. Choose any style of your choice and just click on it. After clicking on it, you will find here your text here. Now here you need to type the text of your choice. So for example here I am typing computer input and output. So I have written here computer input and output. Now after typing the text, if you want to change the color of the text. So for changing the color of the text, you need to select the text. Use the mouse, click and select the entire text. Now after selecting your text, you will find extra tab here that is under drawing tools, you have format tab. So just you need to click on format tab and here you have the option called text fill. Text fill. Click on the text fill and choose the color of your choice. Choose the color of your choice and then just leave it. The color will be applied. Now if you want to make it more attractive by applying some style. So for that you need to again click and select the text. After selecting the text in the same tab, in the format tab, you have another option called text effects. Click on the text effects and in text effects you have the option called transform. Transform. You can choose any style from these transforms effects. So just click on it and drag your text. You can see some attractive style will be applied to your text. So like this you can apply word art to your text. So my dear viewers, it's I think it's clear to you all how to apply the background color and how to apply the word art and how to change the color and the style of the word art. So in next video, I will show you how to use the text tool and how to add animations and how to insert picture. So please, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel, like it and share it. Thank you. If you want to apply some type and direction for this background, you have to again right click on the slide and just choose the option format background. In this format background, as you all know that we have already applied gradient fill. So in this gradient fill, we have the options called type and direction. So if you want to change the type from radial to some other option, you need to choose layer or rectangular or path. Say for example, if you want to choose path. You have to just click on path so your background type will be changed now same way if you want to choose the linear option once again and direction see in direction you have different options like top left to bottom right then linear down all these options are available so you can just click on any one of the direction now same way if you want to choose again radial as type and for the direction if you want to choose from center from center then from bottom, from bottom right corner. So you can choose different options from this. Now say I have selected from center. So like this you can even change the direction of your background. Now let's work with the second slide. So just to work with the second slide, you need to click on second slide. Now here in this second slide, once again I want to apply some background. But for this time I am going to choose the background as some picture or texture fill. So for that you need to choose the option called picture or texture fill. So when you click on picture or texture fill, by default you get some textures here. So if you want to change some this texture to other texture, just you need to choose the option here from texture. Just click on this texture option and choose any texture you want to apply for your background. So just you need to click on it. So like this you can use texture options also for your background. Now if you want to choose any picture as background, so to choose the picture as background, you need to click on file option. You have to click on file option. So after clicking on file option, it will take, uh, it will take you to your computer. 
So in your computer, whatever pictures you have saved, you can choose any picture from your documents or downloads. So if you have the pictures in your downloads, you need to click on downloads and choose the picture, whatever picture you want to insert as background and you need to click on insert. So as soon as you click on the picture, the picture will be inserted as background. So don't miss my next video as I'm going to show you many more options. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much.